Good afternoon ladies and gentlemen boys and girls uh, welcome to Oman Cricket Academy So the news from the center is Khubair Warriors who won the toss and they've decided to bowl first. First ball in the slot, straight down the ground. This is D10 for you. No cooling off period. No checking of shots. That's a big hit. Shafka joins the party. This one's gone. Out and into the seating area. That was a smack. And that is what Shafka is all about. It's only the fourth delivery of the innings. Once again, straight past the bowler. And that'll be four more. Easy pickings here for Shafka. Once again, in that region where they can free their arms and they're making batting look very easy at the moment. Again, that brilliant shot, brilliant views of the feet and very, very good hand-eye coordination results in four more for Hanan. Would you want to keep uh, the long off, long on both on the boundary ropes, Mikhail, and try and make them play a, cr a cross shot? That's what he's done, a loose delivery this time. It's gone the distance. This is poor bowling from Amir. Not expected from the calibre that Amir has. Goes for the Yorker, but this time even better shot. Again, making room for himself. Anand likes that area. He wants to own it. Amir Kaleem has no clue whatsoever. Again in the slot. This time even better. He takes the aerial route and crosses the ropes with so much of ease, so much of elegance. Oh, that's another big hit. Rui Rangers are dealing in boundaries and sixes at the moment. That's another humongous hit. This time it's Shafkat. Tanish bowling over the wicket, onto the pass. This time he's got that a high, not the distance. Sean Novak, the fielder, coming underneath it. He won't miss those. Danish has the final laugh. He's got the wicket. The all-important wicket of Shafkat, who was looking dangerous. Aditya Parag brought into the attack. Low full toss to start off. And that's gone the distance, has it? Well, that was timed so well. Khalid still to get off the mark. Down the ground this time. Is it going for another four? Very poor fielding effort. Khalid off the mark with a boundary down the ground. Under a little bit of stick, he'll need to get wickets in the meanwhile. This time just shuffling in the crease, going down on his knees and he's picked that up and hammered it over the deep square leg region. And that's what Khalid Kale brings to the table. He is so calculative and the placement over here. For Khalid Kale as of now, this time the reverse sweep comes out, clears the fielder and the result will be another boundary. A six followed by a four and that is how Khalid Kale likes to approach his innings. He's quickly moved on to 15 of 6. Amassed 15 and only 6. Very fine hitting in the middle. Again slapped flat and another 6. So Danish coming round the wicket or over the wicket. Doesn't matter for Khalid Kale. Very good afternoon Mr. Ashok. Very good afternoon to the listeners and viewers. Oh, that's a clean hit. Khalid Kale is in some form and he will translate that into runs every time he's come out to bat. He's promised that to his side and delivering it very nicely at the moment. 
goes again this is even better now once for the coach once for himself six is raining there in just 5.3 oh this is big this is huge we'll take a while to retrieve this one massive hit this is massive indeed every time he's cleared the front leg magic has happened 47 of 14 work to do here for Muzahir and he doesn't do well 50 up for Khaled Kale that's another boundary and what a well made 50 just 51 or just 15 balls gets there with a boundary 6 overs gone 109 for 1 Desperately need to break this partnership. Oh, outside off. Didn't get the elevation. Will be taken. Had to take it from outside off, and that's been the that's the reason that Hanan could not get the elevation properly. 311. That's right, great. Catch it is the call. This could be taken. Yes, it is taken. Khalid going for one shot too many, but Syed Amir will have a huge smile on his face. Protection in the deep. Two men, three men in the deep. Very wide, long on, and he might be in business here. No, not at all. Vasim Ali is doing justice to to his promotion. 120 plus, he's got there with three overs, almost to spare. And that's an easy hit. That's very, very easy. Didn't even have to be a free hit to get that runs in that fashion. Quite true. Poor bowling there by Sean Nawak. And if this one disappears as well. Which looks like it will into the stands and even beyond it's trickling away to the nearest shed. Well, that's it beautifully. Work to do, but can't get there, Razam. For the moment, it's another no ball as well. This over is never ending. Sean wants to end it quickly though. He wants it to end. Will this be outside off? No, it's a full toss at a comfortable height. That has to be fetched. Vaseem couldn't have asked for a better gift. Now he's gone to deep mid wicket now. This should be taken. Catch practice for square leg, it seems. Catch practice and it is. He's pouched it and breathes a sigh of relief as well. Not conceding many. Just over the bowler's hand. And will go for four. That was hit straight as an arrow and with a lot of power. Reading. Otherwise, go straight down the ground. Reading the mind of the batter very well. This time, goes for a big one. What a six. Absolutely. Clean hitting there by Usmani to finish the innings on a flourish. 169 Ruby Rangers end the innings. Kuwer Warriors, by the virtue of that brilliant innings from Ruby Rangers, Need 170 in 10 overs. It's going to be an uphill task for sure. But we'll find out what happens to the chasers. We'll join you after a short break. Chasing 170 to win. Not going to be easy. There's been absolutely hammering of the Kuwait Warrior bowlers. Hasnain with the new ball. Ahmed Kaleem to take strike. All set for ball one. Ahmed Ali goes for an expansive cover drive. Doesn't connect it properly. Soft dismissal here. Amir Kaleem has to walk back without doing much with the bat. He makes room for himself only to find the fielder. Mohammad Danish has to depart. Gets an outside edge this time around. Was trying to play it in the offside region. Very lucky four over there. Fine bowling. Unfortunately, it'll be freebies here. This time Again. a bit better ball. But he has guided it down the point blank boundary. Jishan getting the second successive boundary there. Nice gentle stride he has. Comes in and bowls. This time a shorter ball. And it's connected and it goes over his wicket keeper for a boundary. Oh, that's been picked up. It's gone high up in the air. Fielder coming underneath. He'll only watch it sail into the stands. 
That's a much needed six for Kuwait Warriors. Bet for that role. Picks that up towards the mid-wicket region. Fielder trying to cut it off but will lose the battle. And another four this time from the bat of Azam Ali. Cheeky, innovative and fetches four as well. We've seen this so much in the T10 format. Azam Ali this time bringing in all the adventure. The trap is set. But he goes over the mid-off region straight to the fielder at mid-on. Long gone rather, Khalid Kale. You cannot keep him out of action. That was flat, that was travelling. And that's a very fine catch taken by him as well. Oh, that's it hard. Might have even travelled the distance. Yes, it has. Six it is. Yes, it was. Very hard hit. And this is even higher. This is even higher. Sean Novak. Another six for him. This game's got to be exciting. Then Sean Novak's got to shine today. Just not this way. This will be taken. Well, he's got enough on this one. No, not at all. Nazim Khushi. Mind you, he's not used to being a boundary raider. He still completes that catch. Yes. Go for the shot. Stay on the crease. And this is a very simple catch there. Wasim Ali picking up a very simple follow-through catch. Muzai Raja nowhere on the pitch of the ball. Tries to go big. Plays it straight to Wasim Ali. Fans trickling down as the sun is setting. This time, Aditya goes for a clean hit there. And it's a huge six straight down the wicket. He's going deep inside the crease as well. This could be cheeky. This will be four. Six and a four. What a way to start the over. It's time to be cheeky. It's time to get into great form for the other games. Four for the taking for Kutti Raja. He struck this one. Man in the deep will not get there. There's something to cheer about for Aditya and Khubair Warriors as this innings ends. Khubair Warriors manage 90 of their 10 overs and that's all they've got. They needed 170 to be produced and pronounced winners in this tournament, in this in this competition. Khubair Warriors were then restricted to just 90 for the loss of 6 wickets.